you welcome to the 2010 Finneytown Choral Festival. As has become our custom, we're going to start with the singing of the National Anthem and then immediately follow that with the singing of the Finneytown Alma Mater. So if you would please rise and remain standing until the both are complete. In addition to her duties here at Finneytown, Mrs. Brenda Hartman has taught private piano lessons here in the community for a number of years. And uh, one of the students that we're going to feature as a guest accompanist tonight is Miss Kelly Lutz. She's a senior this year, and uh, she's a really, really fine student. She sings in the Finneytown Chorale, and I'm going to really, really miss her this year. She uh, has been studying now for how long? A long time. <laughs> 
So she's been studying with Mrs. Hartman for a long time. She's going to accompany the chorus uh, for our next selection, which is entitled Reflection.
Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you'd think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Lip in your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down the, what's that word again? Street, up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free, wish I could be part of Swimming, ready to stand, and ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it? What's the word? Every year, uh, the middle school directors, myself, Ms. Johnson, Mr. Kennedy, are, are charged with recognizing two students each year who have just done an outstanding job. They've been positive role models, good leaders, they're good musicians, and you generally can just depend on these kids uh, to do a fantastic job for you day in and day out. I, I could have probably given this to eight to 10 students. We, we pretty much give them to eighth graders, and um, it really, really I was splitting hairs. Uh, between a lot of these students. We had some students go to Honor Choir this year, and at this time, actually, if you were in the District 14 Junior High Honor Choir, could you, if you're up here, wave, or if you're out here, stand up? <laughs> the students spent a couple of days or uh, some time with the director from up north, Mr. Eric Richardson, back in uh, I think it was February, and they just did a fantastic job. They had, I think, over 200 middle school students from Hamilton and Claremont counties, and it was just a fantastic concert. Uh, so we're really, really proud of them because they represented Finneytown really, really well. The first award I'm gonna give out this evening uh, is for a young man, and uh, this young man is very quiet. Um, he can be counted on that when you teach him his part, he's got it. He'll know it the next day. You won't have to worry about him. Um, not being prepared for a concert. And he doesn't necessarily step up and tell others to, what to do. He just does it and hopes that everybody else follows him. And a lot of the guys do because they respect him for his musicianship. And he's just an all around good guy. So the first director's award I wanna give out this year is to Dallas Howard.
the second student, uh, it, again, like I said, it was splitting hairs and, and uh, it's to a young lady who, uh, we had a number of students involved in the high school musical production this year. Um, if you were at the show, you know that I think uh, something like eight or nine of the 12 brothers were played by girls, some of which were uh, some of middle school girls who really just stepped up to the plate and did a fantastic job. Um, this young lady was also in Honor Choir this year. Um, she's just, she was one of the brothers in the musical. And in general, just you know that she's gonna be ready when she comes to school and comes to rehearsal every day. She's always got a smile on her face. Her attitude is exemplary. She is always positive, and she's always trying to build others up. And uh, it was a really, really tough choice, but I'm going to give the second one this year to Colleen Sauer. really, really excited, and since uh, I know some of you don't have high school students yet, uh, so I would just like to share with you, if, uh, if I, you hadn't received any communication, I'm just really, really beaming with pride about two of our high school ensembles, and all these kids that you see out here, I'm really, really looking forward to them being the future of our program, because uh, our groups just did some fantastic things. Um, we performed on the same level on April 30th at the OMEA State Judicated Event, everybody calls it that, but it's really contest. Um, but the chorale received, uh, in my mind, straight superior ratings. Uh, they received a two in sight reading, but they went in class double A, which is pretty much reserved for the, the top notch groups across the state of Ohio. And uh, I want your students to be that excited and, and be energized and want to be in that group because they do some amazing music. They went to Chicago this year, gave a really fine concert. And it's just been a wonderful year. And in addition, some of the girls in these groups next year will be in the select women's chorus. And again, in my mind, they received straight ones. They received three ones and a two in class B at state contest and just did a really, really fantastic job. So we had two groups this year at the state level achieve superior ratings. And uh, I know that some of them are around the building right now, but I just really would like to share that with you because these kids are gonna be the kids who are gonna step into that, that role soon and they're gonna continue to further that tradition. So we're just really, really proud of them. We're gonna close the middle school portion of the concert with a jazz standard in Route 66, and then we're gonna do a medley uh, from the Lion King Broadway version, not necessarily the movie, they share some songs in common, but we're gonna do a medley with that. And then after that, uh, we're gonna take about a 10 minute intermission and continue with the high school portion. Thank you so much for coming out tonight.
have appeared to go unnoticed but I've got it all here in my heart I want you to know I know the truth of course I know it I would be nothing without you
Let's take it nice and easy. It's gonna be so easy for us to fall in love. Hey, baby, what's your hurry? Relax and don't you worry. to believe that I couldn't see. You were always there beside me. Thought I was alone with no one to hold. But you were always there beside me.
moment uh, to talk about these young ladies behind me. Um, beginning of the school year, I remember the first couple of days of school and listening to them sing a couple of things, and I thought, wow, this is going to be a pretty amazing group. And I remember looking at Mrs. Hartman, and we were both kind of like, hmm, this could be a really, really gr good group. And they are. They really have been a fantastic group of young ladies to work with. They've been a lot of fun. Um, and I'm just really proud of them because uh, last, uh, on the 30th of April, rather, they went up to Lakota East High School to the OMEA State Adjudicated Event, and uh, they exceeded their own goals. They got a one in sight reading, and then they achieved an overall superior rating in Class B, uh, which is a step up from 2006. They got, uh, th that year's women's course received a superior rating in Class C. So I, I just want to impress upon everybody that, that getting to the state level is not an easy thing, and to achieve what they did at the state level is a really, really fantastic thing. So if you would join me in giving them a round of applause.
Anytime a piece has a special story behind it, I think it's important to share with audiences. And uh, the next piece is entitled The Seal Lullaby. And it has kind of an unusual title because composer Eric Whitaker, who uh, a lot of the crowd kids know him, and uh, the women's chorus, everybody pretty much begs me to sing where Eric Whitaker every year. And I love Eric Whitaker, but we've done a lot. But he, uh, he started to write this piece, and uh, a friend of his, Stephen Schwartz, who has written many, many musicals, probably the most recent would be Wicked, um, has written the music for that. He contacted Eric Whitaker and said, you know what? Some of your stuff would be really, really good for animated films, so why don't you send in something? So Eric said, do you really think so? And he said, yeah, go ahead and send it in. So he sent it in to Warner Brothers, and uh, after weeks and weeks of waiting and phone calls to see if they liked it, he got a rejection letter. And this is a guy that, that has written some pretty important stuff for the choral music world. And uh, so he was kind of downtrodden and decided, well, what am I going to do with this? I've written this, and I really don't know what to do at this point. So he just said, I'm going to release it anyway. And it really, really has become a really, really beautiful setting of, uh, of a really, really nice text. It's by Rudyard Kipling, and it has nothing to do with birds. <laughs> it is The Seal Lullaby by Eric Whitaker.
I can almost see it in that dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying you'll never reach it. Every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction. My faith is shaking, but I, I gotta be strong, gotta keep on pushing on, cause there's always gonna be another mountain, I'm always gonna wanna make it move, always gonna be an uphill battle, and sometimes I'm gonna have to lose, ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side It's the climb The struggles I'm facing The chances I'm taking Sometimes might knock me down but no, I'm not breaking. I may not know it, but these are the moments that I'm gonna remember most, yeah. Just gotta keep going, and I, I gotta be strong. Gotta keep on pushing on, cause there's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna want to make it move always gonna be an uphill battle and sometimes I'm gonna have to lose ain't about how fast I get there ain't about what's waiting on the other side it's the climb There's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle And sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side It's the climb Keep on moving, keep climbing, keep your faith, baby. It's all about, it's all about the climb. <laughs> Whoa. then grew into a hope which then turned into a quiet thought which then turned into a quiet word and then that word grew louder and louder till it was a battle cry I'll come back when you call You can. 
that you have to forget. Let your memories grow stronger and stronger till they're before your eyes. You'll come back when they call you. No need to say goodbye. You'll come
windows and the sound of drums. People couldn't believe what I'd become. Revolutionaries wait for my head on a silver plate just to dump it on a rolling stream. Oh, who would ever want to be king? I hear Jerusalem bells ringing, Roman cavalry choirs singing. Be my mirror, my sword, shield, missionaries in a foreign field. For some reason I can't explain, hope St. Peter will call my name in an honest word. That was when I ruled the world. Take some rabbits, fresh tomatoes, put them in a bowl with butter. Add the onions, strong and tasty on the stove, you let it burn. Choose the finest meat you get from cow or pig, it doesn't matter. Beans and hollows, pink or bad, what's necessary is to this. But don't forget, don't forget the Mexican spices. Do 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 Chili con carne, 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 ch
don't forget the Mexican spices. Do 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 da 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 Chili con carne, chili con carne, chili con carne, chili con carne, chili con 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 carne, con chili con carne, chili con Smile. 
18 years have come and gone for mama they flew by but for me they drug on and on we were loading up that chevy both trying not to cry mama kept on talking putting off goodbye then she took my hand and said baby don't forget before you hit the highway you better stop for gas there's a 50 in the ashtray in case you run short on cash and here's a map and here's a bible if you ever lose your way just one more thing before you leave don't forget to remember me this downtown apartment sure makes me miss home and those bills there on the counter keep telling me i'm on my own and just like every sunday i called mama up last night and even when it's not i tell her everything's all right before we hung up i said hey mama don't forget to tell my baby brother i'll see him in the fall tell me all that i miss her yeah i should give her a call and make sure you tell daddy that i'm still his little girl just one more thing before Don't forget to remember me. Tonight I find myself kneeling by the bed to pray. I haven't done this in a while, so I don't know what to say. But Lord, I feel so small at times in this big old place. Yeah, I know there's more important things, but don't forget to remember me. Don't forget to remember me. Downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Staring blank your head, just making my way, making my way through the crowd. And I need you, and I miss you. could fall into the sky do you think time would pass me by you know i'd walk a thousand miles if i could just see you times like this when I think of you I wonder if you ever think of me 
everything so wrong and I don't belong living in your precious memory and I need you and I miss you and now I wonder if I could fall into the sky do you think time would pass me by you know I'd walk a thousand miles I could just see you tonight And I, I don't wanna let you know I, I drown in your memory Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Staring blank your hand, just making my way, making my way through the crowd. And I still need you, I still miss you, and now. I could fall into the sky Do you think time would pass me by? And you know I'd walk a thousand miles I could just see you If I could fall into the sky Do you think time would pass me by? And you know I'd walk a thousand I could just see you if I could just hold you
spell got me singing like na 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 every day. It's like my iPod stuck on re replay. Be more than friends for real worldwide, breaking all the rules. It's like a song played again and again, like something on a poster. It's a time they say, it's a gun to my holster. She's running through my mind all day. Yeah, it's like a melody in my head that I can't keep out. Got me singing like na 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 every day. It's like my heart wants to be. Doing things I never do. I'm in the kitchen cooking things she likes. The real world wide, breaking all the rules. So yeah, I'm gonna make my She got me This year, that we're going to do something different with the senior slideshow, um, kind of a borrowing an idea from another school. Uh, we're actually, this Sunday is the Music Awards Night, and your students should have picked up an RSVP card, and it starts at 7 p.m. in here, Sunday evening. Um, you, everyone is welcome to attend. We need those RSVP cards back by tomorrow to Mr. Cantor, so if, uh, if you plan on attending on Sunday, please turn that in. All of the senior pictures are going to be a part of one giant music department slideshow on Sunday evening, so you won't want to miss that. This year, we're going to do something a little bit different, like I said, and uh, what I'm going to do is I asked each senior to uh, write down something memorable about choir and then what they plan on doing next year, and we're going to introduce each of them really, really quickly. They've jotted down some things. I haven't seen these yet, so uh, we're going to give these a try. First, we're going to start off with this year's choir president, Miss Hillary Amen. <laughs> Hillary says, I plan to attend Ohio University in the fall. The people in this group are what makes it so special. I am very proud of everyone this year, and I will miss being part of such a talented group of musicians. I want to thank Mr. McKee, Mr. Canner, Mr. Kennedy, and Mrs. Hartman for encouraging me through high school. I love you all. Hillary Amen. <laughs> Next. Sarah Baker says, I plan to attend the University of Cincinnati and major in English education. Thanks to everyone in Corral for showing me what it means to be passionate about singing, especially you, Nikki Towner. Sarah Baker. <laughs> Ms. Haley Cater, as a first year Corral member, I've seen so many people who love to sing. Next year, I will be attending the University of Cincinnati to study communications and French. I love you all, Haley Cater. 
Daniel Chambers, next year I'm going to miss all my friends in Corral. I'm going to miss my director, Mr. McKee, and I'll remember all he's taught me. I'm enjoyed all this class has done together and the success we've enjoyed. Next year I will be attending the University of Cincinnati, Daniel Chambers. <laughs> next we have Sarah Clausen. She says, before this class I sang at my church and in the car, but when I sing with this group it actually means something to me. This program has really opened my horizons in singing and music in general. I hope to continue some sort of music this year at Cincinnati State and then NKU, Sarah Clausen. <laughs> Emily Earle is gonna go to Ohio University. I cannot express in words how much music has meant to me in my life. In these past six years, roughly a third of my life, I've been involved in choir and music. I must admit that for how far I've come, I owe it all to my teachers, Mr. Canner, Ms. Johnson, Mr. Kennedy, and Mr. McKee. You are all the music of my heart, and what I've learned here will stay with me wherever I go forever. Emily Earle. <laughs> Chris Everhart says, I've been in choir five years. My best memory is rising up in the pit during my first concert. That was back in eighth grade. <laughs> I swore into the Marines and will be going to training on August 9th. Chris Everhart. Corey Fay is going to be attending the University of Cincinnati in pre-med and uh, to become a pediatrician. Singing is a way to express myself and work with others who share the same passion as I do. Corral was a good opportunity for me to do this. Corey Fay. <laughs> Zach Gill, I'm going to miss all the people around me in Corral who took singing and wanting to be successful as serious as I did. <laughs> serious. I'm gonna miss my amazing director, Mr. McKee, who taught me everything I know about music. After Finneytown, I'm going to NKU for elementary education. <laughs> Zach Gill. <laughs> Nate Girdler, I was thrilled with how well we did at contest this year. I really enjoyed getting to make new friends and share all of our great achievements with them. I will be going to UC and majoring in civil engineering. Nate Girdler. <laughs> Molly Hickey's is uh, one of our choir vice presidents this year. She's majoring in fine arts at DAP at UC. I'm so proud of everyone in Corral for getting a one in class AA at state this year. Keep it up next year, seniors 2011. Molly Hickey. <laughs> Kelly Lutz, this has been a great year for Corral. Everyone has been so motivated and we have achieved all of our highest goals. Next year I plan to attend Cedarville University with a major in nursing, Kelly Lutz. <laughs> we have an honorary senior, you already saw her out on the stage tonight. Uh, she walked in last August and said, they said, would you like to audition? And, and I went, wow, you're amazing. And that's uh, our honorary senior who's a junior but Joe Marcy, our German foreign exchange student. Thanks for that amazing year and in what I was able to be a part of the Finneytown Corral. I was accepted from the first day I got into the choir room and I really appreciate that. I will continue singing back in Germany, but I'm sure I can never replace the experience that I had in Corral. Thank you, Joe Marcy. <laughs> Lyndon McGuffey. The thing I'll miss the most about Corral is the amazing friendships that have come from it. We have made amazing music this year and I'm so happy to have been a part of it. Thanks for the members, memories I'll never forget and the friendships I'll never want to lose. Hugs and kisses, oh, and 1010 UK next year. Lyndon McGuffey. <laughs> Chris Miller, I have loved the past four years. Singing Damon in that church was epic. I doubt I'll ever sing with this much talent again. Thanks, Mr. McKee, and good luck 2011. Chris is attending Northern Kentucky University. Chris Miller. <laughs> Andrew Poulter, it was great getting straight ones at state. I hope this will be inspirational for next year's Corral. I plan to attend Miami University to pursue a degree in music education. Andrew Poulter. <laughs> Courtney Siegel is attending the University of Cincinnati. 
I really enjoyed all my years in choir. I have a lot of memories that I know will stick with me forever. Courtney Siegel. <laughs> Courtney really enjoyed ca the Kettering uh, Pop Acapella Festival. She wanted me to let you know that. Ben Steinecker. The bonding between classmates and experiences shared with everyone was the best experience for me, getting to meet and get close with people I probably would have never gotten the chance to meet. Mr. Ben Steinecker. <laughs> Braden Terry says, I wasn't in Corral until this year. I always wanted to, but never really put much effort into it. <laughs> I honestly enjoyed singing with the people in here. They are so much more dedicated and serious about music, which is nice for a change. Next year, I'll be joining the Springfield Fire Department. I'll probably never sing in a group ever again, so I'll always remember and cherish the good times I had doing it. Braden Terry. <laughs> Nicole Towner, next year I will be attending the Ohio State, THE Ohio State University, <laughs> and I will, miss made, I will be majoring in business. I would like to thank Mr. McKee and Mrs. Hartman for making Corral one of the best experiences of my high school career, and thank you to all of the Corral members. Nicole Towner. <laughs> she also says, I'm going to miss everyone, especially you, Sarah Baker. <laughs> and finally, Molly Vandiver says, I plan on going to Cincinnati State and working. Corral was the best part of school, especially if I was mad. I will miss Corral, and I want to wish the best of luck to everyone. Molly Vandiver. <laughs> I didn't get one from Nicole Bascom, but if she's still here, would you please come up and join your classmates? Okay. Nicole has sung two years in, in uh, choir in high school, and we're, she's a valued member of the choir program as well, so we want to acknowledge Nicole Bascom. <laughs> this has been a really fantastic senior class. They, they set goals from day one. Um, and they've led by example, and I'm really, really going to miss these guys. It's, it's really been a fantastic year. So we're going to round out our program. We're going to invite the Finneytown crowd, but before we do that, give one round of applause for the class of 2010. C, and what we'd really like you to know about this is that it's a programmatic piece of music. In other words, the singing is meant to paint a picture in the mind of the listener. So you should hear waves crashing. There's going to be some interesting things that we do uh, that you don't normally see choirs do. Um, if some of you have seen the Honda commercials done by a choir on the internet, it's not quite that level, but it's an amazing piece of music that illustrates uh, waves crashing against the cliffs, the sounding sea. Sing. 
The next piece is our last accompany number. So it is that time of year when I have the privilege of saying thank you. And I do take that to mean a pri as a privilege. It is a privilege to come to work with her week in and week out, both here and at our other job where she's my boss. And uh, I really, really enjoyed just working with her for another year. So everybody help me thank Mrs. Brenda Hartman. My wife can't be here tonight because we've got like a week old baby at home and three other kids. So, um, <laughs> but from the moment that I laid eyes on this piece, I just thought that even though she's not here, I want everybody to know that I picked this for her.
Facebook's a funny thing. Um, the next composer, Blake Henson, uh, I think two or three pieces. Um, and while I've, I've got this moment, I just really quickly, if you were in all state choir this year, raise your hand, please. Danielle and Tim. If you are in May Festival Youth Chorus, raise your hand, please. If you were in honor choirs this year. Finneytown's out doing all kinds of stuff around the community, and the two, uh, Danielle and Tim, who are in all state choir this year, they did a couple pieces by this young man, and I say young man because he's younger than I am, and um, thank you wherever you are, Mrs. Lutz, for putting our performance in Chicago on Facebook. I've been trying to get Blake Henson to watch it, the guy who wrote this piece, um, but it's a very profound piece, and it's the charm asleep text, and these guys do a pretty darn good job for a high school ensemble on this, and it is my privilege to conduct my flight for heaven.
want you to take a one last look at this group because after graduation this year, you're not going to see this group of kids together again. And for me, that's heartbreaking. It's been an amazing, amazing year. They've done so many awesome, awesome things. And if it weren't for crazy sight reading at state, they, in my mind, achieved superior ratings in class double A, class double A at state. I was got the composite ratings today. They did as well as any other school in this state. And it's because of great community members, great parents, great families, great administrators, great everything in this school district. And it's a privilege for me to work with these kids. And I'm going to miss them terribly. But we're going to end with a really unusual piece. We did this in Chicago. And it is uh, it's interesting. It's in Latin. And it's talking about, it's, uh, shall we just say, a good versus evil. This is an amazing school year. Thank you so much for sitting out here tonight, watching these kids. We're going to end with a piece called Demon Irepid Kalidus. Copies of this program are available for $20 each. Send program title along with your address and check or money order to Waycross Community Media. Attention Dub Coordinator, 2086 Waycross Road, Forest Park, Ohio 45240. Or buy securely on the web at www.waycross.tv.